Hi, my name is Liz Akins, and I'm the founder of this nonprofit. Hello, my name is Mia Kostonis, and I am Alyssa's partner. Together, we are Sonos to America. I started this project after visiting Cambodia in the spring of 2019. I was very inspired after seeing how hard the women work every day to provide for their families. After hearing about the Sonos Village, I knew I wanted to join the team. We became partners in October of 2019, and by March of 2020, we had three retail partners, Serendipity in Chestnut Hill, Free Shop in Ambler, and Primal Surf Shop in Brigantine, New Jersey. Before we get into everything, we wanted to give an idea about where Sonos is in relation to us. This is a map that shows the location of the Sonos Village in Cambodia as well as where we operate Sonos to America. The women in Cambodia do not have a source of income for nine months out of the year because their only job is to harvest rice. Sonos was founded to give women a steady income as well as a place to grow their food and other raw materials. The weaving products that they make are all crafted from the cotton that they grow, pick, and spin into string themselves. The scarves are then woven on looms, each taking around three days to complete. This is the kind of hard work that Alyssa described to me that got me so passionate about the company and about helping the village. The founders of Sonas had the idea in mind that with the success of this first village, 10 more would eventually be able to open. This would not only provide more jobs for women, but there is also a scholarship program for the children of the village in which they have the opportunity to go to college. The child that receives the scholarship is then asked to contribute towards the next child's scholarship and this essence of giving back inspires us every day. This is the model that Sonos uses to keep its village running. We have tried to keep all four of these pillars in mind in order to build our company and maintain the same goals as the village. We want to make sure that Sonos has a constant inflow of cash so that they can keep making products in order to keep giving the 12 working women a salary of at least $100 a month. Keeping the women working also has a major positive impact on their mental health since they are now employed all year round. The main problem that we're trying to solve is the overall shortage of job opportunities for women, as well as the lack of middle school education and hire for most of the children in Cambodia. We believe that we are part of the solution. We buy scarves and other products wholesale from Sonos, which gives them money immediately, and after we resell them in other stores, as well as direct to consumer, we donate all of our profits back to the village. Our target customer is a woman who cares about not only the sustainability of our product, but the impact that one purchase has on the life of a woman in Cambodia. Our simplistic pattern scarves are targeted at older women ages 40 to 70, while our more detailed scarves with brighter colors are targeted at women ages 20 to 40. Our scarves are sold mostly in the winter in northern states. However, our beach wraps are targeted at girls and women in the summer we have also had success in selling lighter colored scarves as well as bee traps to Floridians, and this will hopefully be our next market expansion. Our sales also often increase significantly during the holiday season, and because of this, we target more male customers during that time because they are usually looking for an easy gift. We have found three direct competitors for us. On Nordstrom, they sell cotton scarves similar to ours, but the money does not go to a good cause, and they are not made sustainably. There are two similar Cambodian scarves to ours on the market. The first is Krama Krama, but their price point is a little higher than ours. The next scarf is a scarf from Etsy, and although it is sold for only $20, there is no information about where that money is going and who it is helping. Our marketing is inspired by brands like Lokai and Ivory Ella that emphasize the charity side of their companies and how each purchase makes a difference. We have been able to expand our product line to three retail locations, as well as our school store. As we mentioned before, two of these are boutiques in Pennsylvania, and the other shop is a surf store in Brigantine, New Jersey. We started off only selling scarves and later expanded to beach wraps and face masks. Dependent on coronavirus this summer, we will also be in Serendipity Boutique in Avalon, New Jersey, selling our beach wraps and face masks. Our gross sales to date are a little over $5,000, and of this, $2,885 is our net income. This money is either used on business expenses such as shipping envelopes, new product shipments, or it is donated back to the Sonos Village. We are currently not paying ourselves for our time so that we can send back as much money as we can. We are already in three retail stores, but by the holiday season next year, we want to be in at least six. We are going to pitch to more local boutiques after coronavirus settles down, and we are also looking into the market in Florida. For our marketing, we are going to keep gathering data on which products sell best and in which locations. 
and use that information for what to stock in each store as well as which products to promote where. We have been expanding our social media presence while in quarantine and plan to keep up with this. We post updates on restocks as well as on the Sonos Village. We believe this will be a key marketing strategy because after posting about our face masks on Facebook and Instagram, we sold out in two days. Finally, with our expanding team next year, we have ambitious goals because we know that we are going to be able to get a lot done next year. Since I will be going to college next year, we decided to expand the team. Mia will be leading the new Sonos team that will consist of her, a senior, and two other juniors. With more people, we will be able to accomplish more next year, and our hope is that this cycle of adding new team members will continue each year so Sonos to America can keep running. We know that this is more than just a school project, and this is why it is so important to us that we keep the company alive. With this cycle of adding new, younger members to train each year, we believe we can keep Sonos to America running for many more years. Next year, Kaylee and Maddie will help me with accounting, keeping track of inventory, and posting on social media. I will teach them how we run this company so that when they take over, Sonos to America will stay successful. During these hard times with coronavirus, the women who work in the village are not making a lot of money. Sonos usually relies on sales from tourists, and since all of that has stopped, it has been very hard for them. Because of this, they started to make face masks and hope that they would sell. We put in an initial order of 100 masks, and this helped them greatly. Since we sold out of all of them in two days, we placed another order for 900 more. A hundred of these will be immediately donated because for every mask we sell, we are donating one to an essential worker. These first masks will go to Mana on Main, which is a food shelter. We are one of their only sources of income right now, so it is very important that we keep working hard on Sonas to America so that the women can get paid. We have added shipping for our online sales, so we are not restricted by location at this time. Paul, who runs the village, is very thankful for the work we are doing now because he does not want to have to let go of any women or to have them not working at all. The best way to help currently is to buy a face mask. This will not only support the Sonos Village, but also provide an essential worker with a mask. We also would like to build our connections. We would love any feedback on the company or mentors that would be able to help us in the future. You can also help by donating. The money can help with one of three things. It can be donated right to the Sonos Village, it can be put towards the funds for the face masks we are donating, or it can help to cover some of the expensive shipping costs and VAT taxes that we encounter when receiving our products from Cambodia. Thank you for watching our presentation. Here is our contact information and a link to find more information about the Sonos Village, as well as a link to purchase a face mask when they are back in stock.